How exactly does this recursive common table expression work? To break it down, let's keep in mind we have three queries at work here. The first thing that happens is the boss query runs, and it only finds one record. The moment that first query runs, it immediately puts that same record in the common table expression query. Now it's time for the second query to run. And the most important part is this inner join, where we're joining from the employee ID of the common table expression. Now, so far the common table expression only has one record, and that's employee 11. So, it's going to take that only record and take the ID of 11 and put it into this inner join. The inner join's job is to find every single match in the other table. In this case, it's looking for every match on ID 11. Just how many records does it find? Well, it looks like there's six employees who have a manager ID of 11. So we have six matching records to now populate the second query. The moment you add any records to either of these two queries in the common table expression, the common table expression query itself gets those records. With the boss query having already run and gotten one record, and the second query having run and gotten six records, our common table expression now has the seven records you see here. Now remember, the inner join has only run one time so far, and it completed its first iteration or loop. And it remembers it already completed employee 11. So now the inner join is going to say, do you have any more emp IDs for me to search? And it says, hey, here's emp ID 1. I haven't run that employee ID through the inner join yet. Let's see if we find any matches. The inner join continues to throw matching records into the result set of its query. As records are added to the result set of the second query, at the exact same moment, those same records will be added to the common table expression.